Jesus said, he said, it's impossible that offenses will not come. Basically what he's saying is if you breathe air, you drink water, you're gonna have the opportunity to get offended. But what you do with the offense determines your future. Either you're gonna become stronger or you're gonna become bitter, but you'll never be the same. He said, look at me. He said, I had 12 men that were very close to me. I paid their bills for three and a half years. I taught them for three and a half years. I took care of them. Then in my hour of greatest need, my personal hour of greatest need, one of them betrayed me, one of them denied me, and nine of the others fled and ran for their lives in my hour of greatest need. He said, well, right then I could have called for six legions of angels and said, get me out of here, Father, I've had it with these guys. He said, but I chose to love them because he had no expectations on them. And he said, I knew that if I lay down my life, the love of God, I knew that I would reap a harvest because it's a spiritual law. If we sow to the Spirit, we're going to reap. Now he said, your problem is you're expecting the harvest to come back from that one individual. He said, the harvest may come from all of it, but if you keep sowing to the Spirit, you're gonna reap a harvest. He said, what was my harvest? Now I have many sons and daughters who love me with the love that I love them. My sin of offense is not justified by how badly I was treated because two wrongs have never made a right. You gotta realize, you gotta take responsibility for your sin against God. The second thing you do is you forgive them and you realize how great of a sin that you were forgiven of, how great of a debt you were forgiven of, the unpayable debt, hell forever and ever, you were freely forgiven before you ever said you're sorry.